might notice I really don't wear backpacks that often. I think that's just because I haven't... I think that's just because I haven't found the right bag yet. I'm not really a huge bag guy. I sometimes feel like they kind of hold me back a little bit. And then I think to myself, the more stuff that I store in here, the longer it's gonna take for me to get that stuff out and actually use it. And when things like that happen, half the time you miss your shot. I feel like everybody starts with an Amazon Basics bag. This is one of my earliest bags. It's still around. Not in the greatest condition, but it's still around. So then I started going around to the smaller type of bags and making those work to my advantage. Come on, I auto focus. I like fanny packs. I am a fanny pack uh, fan, a fan packs. You can fit a lot of stuff in here, surprisingly. If you get the right fanny pack, fit a nice little point and shoot camera in here. You can fit an APS-C camera in here, like an A6D 600. You could even fit a full frame A7C in here. This travel bag was doing me okay for a while and I enjoy it, but this is kind of like an oversized fanny pack, but an undersized camera bag. It's a weird middle ground. I don't dislike it. I use it and I like it. You can't really store too much in here and it's really not saving that much space. It's not tiny. And then PGY Tech hit me up about the one go and I was like, sure, send it over. I actually could use a camera bag, so I'd be more than happy to take it for free from you. So this lighting seems like it's gonna be an absolute disaster. So for any of you new, new tubers that watch this channel, this right here is a no-no. These are the type of areas that you wanna stay away from. See all those lights and shadows on the floor? That means that's gonna be all up in your shot, all over your face. You wanna try to stay clear of this. The only reason why I'm going through this right now is because there's a nice waterfall over here. And I wanna go get some drone shots of it, even though I only got 30% left on my damn drone. Like even on the straps, on the inside here, they have this weird like jelly foam. Look at this. It's like I just wanna keep squeezing it and squishing it around. It's like a fiddle dream. I'm. This was just a sample they sent me. I'm not gonna throw this out because I might just sit on my couch while I watch TV and fiddle with this because it's so damn fun. And then inside of the backside here, they have this other, it's like this crazy interwoven, like little plastic angel hair pastas that all got tangled up with one another. And they make like a nice little soft cushion. These straps right here are just, they barely feel like there's anything on my back. Honestly, this is one of the more, if not the most comfortable camera backpack that I've used. This alien mattress technology that they're putting in here, along with whatever that woven plastic is on the backside, feels fantastic. Honestly, usually my back hurts me after a while wearing a backpack, which is why you normally don't see me wearing backpacks that often, but in this case, it feels great. It puts most of the weight on your upper back as opposed to your middle or lower back to where you're kind of hunching over and trying to compensate. Even down to the zippers, we got YKK zippers on here. Now, if you don't know what YKK is, YKK is like the gods of zippers. They've been around, they basically run the zipper industry. You don't, don't go around their turf trying to make some zippers. YKK don't play that. And earlier versions, People were complaining about the zippers and zippers sound great. Up here we have top access that is locked in, but if you need to get in there quickly, you just pull this tab down, it unlatches and you're good to go. So you have a hard shelf thing right here and then you have another one on the bottom, which is good. This is, seems very protective and it's great that you could adjust it however you want. You also have a little pocket right here that and again, the materials, all the materials on this bag, top to bottom, every inch, feel premium, super premium. They need to start a damn clothing line, PGYTs. Make sure it ain't PGYKK 
zippers because they don't play that. Remember, they pop, pop. Pop, pop. Then you have these little Velcro insert dividers here that are great because they kind of cuff around perfect, just perfectly for a lens to sit in there. And then you could pull this tab down and then you could sit something else right on top. On the inside here, we got a couple more pockets for storage. Nice deep pockets, again, fantastic fabrics. And on the side here, we have some pockets. You can put some water bottles. I like to put, oh, I'm using it. I like to put the Mantis Pod in one of these. It fits in there just perfect. And you have those pockets on both sides, as well as complete side access to both sides. So if you have a lens or your drone remote, that's what I usually keep in here, or my ND filter case. I keep this Freewell ND filter case. It fits right in there perfectly on one side. So if I got to swap, out the two to five for the six to nine or vice versa. I just pop this open, pull this out and do what I gotta do, put it right back in and I don't have to unzip the front and disrupt everything else in the bag that I don't really need to be messing with at the moment. And then on the side here, we have another pouch that is awesome. This is for your spare batteries. So let's say you have your spare batteries in here and then one in the camera. The one in the camera dies, you pull it out, you pop it in here, you take this one out, pop it in there. Now, this one is the dead battery, but you don't want to make the mistake of popping this in and forgetting where you put the dead battery. So all you got to do is take this magnet, flip it on over from the green side over to the red side. So simple. Works great and I haven't dropped any of these magnets yet. They don't pop off. They stay right where they're supposed to. Another thing that I like is there's handles everywhere to carry this bag so that when it's not on your back the proper way, you don't have to be pulling and have all the weight hang on one strap or the other and then you wear the straps out when you're not even using it. You have a top handle, very sturdy top handle, as well as handles on each side. You also have a space under here for like a t-shirt or a sweater or something along those lines. Just stuff something quick, blanky. PGY Tech is not sponsoring this video. They just sent over the backpack and asked for a review on it. And my true review on this is it's fantastic. I like it, man. I do have one complaint. I have one complaint. I literally was like sitting here. I'm like, I, if I do a review and I don't complain about anything on this bag, people are gonna think that I'm faking the funk. I ain't faking the funk. This bag is dope, but I have one complaint. The next version of this bag, the two go bag, the one go two, needs to be able to sit flat. This don't sit flat. This does not have a flat bottom. So we have to we have to put some kind of hard shell on the bottom here. I got this cheapo bag. I don't even know what brand it is from b and I think I bought a lens and they, it was like a kit and it was the same price as just the lens by itself. So I'm like, sure, I'll take a absolute free bag. So instead of just putting something inside the bag material next time around to make it square and flat and hard, maybe put a rubber piece like this on the outside. I think that would be a major win. So that's it. Links in the description below. Also, thank you to everybody that picked up the new merch. Got the Stay Balanced in black and white. And we got the, sorry. And we got to stay focused in black and white. Links in the description below if you want to pick you up a shirt. I appreciate the support very highly. And shout out to all the Patreons. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.